Welcome back to lovely gardening bits. Yes, I'm starting this week's video inside again. Guess why? Guess, guess what's happening outside? <laughs> Rain again. It has just been so wet and damp and oh it's so annoying but anyway I'm hoping that it clears up today because there's a few bits that I want to do in the garden but if not it's okay I know that next week the weather is supposed to be nicer so maybe next week's video will be a mammoth length video but in the meantime I want to show you some of the seedlings that I brought inside a couple of weeks ago I've left them sitting on my windowsill there's been growth because this was like to protect them against the slugs let me just show you what we have see like if I could just explain to you the joy that it gives me coming down every morning like I'll just stand and I'll just like look at the little seedlings <laughs> and I'm like oh and I'll do that like a few times a day I don't know it's just this instant calming thing for me when I look at like green things in my house now I can't keep an indoor plant alive at all but like for the outdoor stuff they're doing great anyway let me show you okay, this is the current situation outside again but but look we have cucumelons so i'm gonna pot those on once i get new compost so these are a mixture between a cucumber and a melon as the name would suggest and um, so we'll see i think they only grow like a grape size we have some zinnias which ones are they zinnia oh the cinderella peach oh i love them so like we only have a few of them plants but anyway now look at this this is my corn on the cob. So you can see that I have 11 all together. I'm going to give, I'll probably either keep six or five or give Joanne and Will the other ones. Um, but these definitely need to be potted on. So I'm going to do that when I can get compost. There was one solitary <laughs> seedling. I think it was like a chili seedling that has survived. So we'll see. Then we have here, Arinthium. No, that thing. Anterinium apple blossom i know i put way too many in there that's okay we're gonna um thin those out we've got tajities so i was growing loads of these they were flying up and then one of the days i left them in the greenhouse without the lid on and the slugs just chomped them like you can see slug juice still there like look they ate all of those ones but we still have some back so that's grand Do you remember i shown some of these stunted sugar snap peas see like this one here but like there's still like shoots coming out at the bottom which is good. So I didn't do anything special with them. And like, look at this one. So I need to support him and then him as well. They're doing good. Then we have here some more tomato plants. I'm hoping that that's a new one that's come up. These ones here are like the yellow kind of hanging ones. They're supposed to look like grapes. These ones here are sun gold. They're looking good. So I'm going to be able to pot all of those on. We have climbing nasturtiums, which is great. We have more of that anther antherinium orange. So yet yeah, this seed tray didn't seem to germinate as well as the other ones, but that's okay. We have, we have stuff happening, which is good. My poached eggs are starting to blossom now, which is great. These are all self-seeded from last year. They're so cute. Yes, big dandelion. The bees love it, it's fine. But look, they're gorgeous. I'm filming this on my phone to avoid the rain. Look, that's new as well. That's Aquilegia, I think. Look at the colour of these. Aren't they gorgeous? Are they more osteospernum things? Oh, you know. I love this little section here. I just love that it's really full as well. Actually, Catherine and I are going to be going to a Savage Yard tomorrow. And that's where I got this last year. This tree is really filling out. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. And look, we have the foxgloves are really taken over. Now I do have to weed all here, but sorry, I'm not gonna do like a, this is what's happening here. But I just wanted to show you some of the plants that I got last week, because when all of my little seedlings got chomped by slugs, I was like, oh, maybe I'll get some of these. So I'm after getting Taste of Green Cucumber. I got, oh yeah, two of those. Because I was like, maybe I can grow them up something. We've got little sweet peppers. Got like a little red pepper. I wonder if that's going to be spicy. We'll see. Oh yeah, I got that because that's an early ripening sweet pepper. Oh, and that's the same. <laughs> so that's going to keep me going for ages. And so I've left all of my peas and beans out here. Now they do have to be repotted. Oh my God, look at this. Sorry, this is like starting to bloom since yesterday. 
but yeah I think now over the next couple of weeks I'm going to be tackling this area hopefully the weather will be a bit better but I just wanted to give you like a little update <gasps> oh my god got pea flowers I need to pot all those I need to plant all those out I'm letting these all get like a little bit of a shower oh my god oh my god are they apples <gasps> are they apples hold on let me just clear off my thing <gasps> isn't it because I was looking see here the other day I was like oh that looks like the end of like the apple oh I need to send Catherine a picture of that lads I'm gonna have apples for my very own apple tree this year so just in case you're wondering as well this is a coronet apple tree and this has two different varieties on the one um tree so I think there's like half red half green and that's how they self-pollinate so if you were to have like a single tree with just like a single variety you need to get multiple ones just to let them pollinate but i just i didn't want to get something that was massive so this has been in a pot since last year now i didn't get any fruit last year but yes i'm going to be transforming here because last year along with the <gasps> sorry, ox glove. sorry it's just been so miserable the last few days that i haven't been out at all oh my god they're coming back i didn't think i was going to get any this year for those ones Look at that Nemesia in the back there. Oh, that's very enjoyable. It's like the little moments of joy. But yeah, that's the rain. It's like lashing out the heavens. But yeah, I can't bring my camera out when that comes. But um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, I was saying over the next couple of weeks, I just want to like tidy all this up. I want to do this up, this little area. My little cottage garden in pots. And this is the place that we got that the Kilkenny salvage yard the bird bath we bought a mirror that I had up there kind of just tilted last year but I want to hang that up as well so we're going to do that but actually hold on let me go inside because I'm getting soaked this is the reality of trying to film in Ireland oh my god soaked but what I was going to say yes yeah, so I'm going to film Catherine and I are going down to Kilkenny tomorrow to see one of our friends and we're going to go to the Kilkenny salvage yard I'll leave a link below but oh my god so I was there last year with mam and Joanne and we bought two mirrors and I bought like little containers for flowers as well so there's a couple of things on their website that I have my eye on and um, they have like half whiskey barrels and I was like oh they'd be nice now to plant up for the summer kind of up on the patio and that but yes that's what we're going to do tomorrow I'm very excited so we'll bring you along anyway and actually now that I mention it so Catherine and I were going to be filming our next chit chat video in my garden so if there's any questions that you want us to answer, just leave them in the comments below. I'll add them to the list. Good morning. It is the following day and I'm now sitting outside Catherine's house. Um, I drove out to hers. She has gone, she has to go to the paint shop, I think, and she's getting coffee on the way back so that when we get in the car, we go, phew. Now I do need to go to a garage, pick something up for the car. And then we are on our merry way. And like the back of the car is going to be full of, I hope, like lovely little treasures from the salvage yard. I'm going to be um, filming a few little clips while we're there just to show you that if you're in the Kilkenny area um, this is what they have. Anyway, she should be here soon and we will see you down in Kilkenny. So we have arrived to the salvage yard and it's absolutely gorgeous out. So, <laughs> Catherine and Joanne are in there looking at stuff. They love all the furniture bits. But like, look at things like this like the little troughs as well like you could plant that up as well couldn't you like look at her galvanized containers now the barrels are over the far side but i'm just going to do a little bit of footage to show you what's here
<laughs> Feel the weight of that. That looks so sick and It's like a little leprechaun. Oh my God. Okay, you I pick it up a lot easier. I wasn't expecting it to be that. I got them. You got them. Oh, you do. <laughs> I love this. Oh, no, these are bigger than what I thought they'd be. They're kind of cool though. Imagine this, like planted up. Oh, I feel like I can smell the whiskey. <laughs> oh, lads, in my element here today. They just have such gorgeous stuff. Like, look, loads of bits, like for plants, for like water features. Oh, that's like a nice little. There, bird bath there. Um, so yeah, I think myself and Catherine we're gonna get stuff delivered because I don't think we'll fit stuff in my tiny little car. So we're after getting, I got two barrels, like half barrels, and I think she is as well. She'll see on her channel what she got. But um, yeah, if, if you're coming here, oh, this is like the perfect day for stuff like this. Um, so when you're coming down like the little lane, you're actually better off messaging the guys because they'll be able to give you like proper directions and they'll meet you at the gate as well because uh, it's just a bit confusing when you're coming in. But I just feel like I need to do a second sweep because it's really overwhelming when you see so many lovely treasures. Um, in this, oh look, oh so, hold on, let me just flip the camera around. This is like the bird bath that I have from last year. This is where I got it. Somebody was asking actually if we could put, you know the solar fountain that I have? So this is like a raised section for like birds and like little bugs and stuff to stand on. So I don't think this would be deep enough if you did have one of the solar um, fountains, just in case you're wondering. Oh, that one might though. That looks very deep but if you wanted that for birds i'd say like put like rocks and stuff in them just to let them do their bit like look at the gazebo that was here last year as well but they've lovely like vintagey things to like sit on and oh this is so nice i just i want everything like i want those archways over there <laughs> next year maybe hello hi so we may have bought some stuff in Do you the, like the windows? In, oh, hold on. You, can you hold that for one second? Yeah. Sorry, you just gave me in. Um, oh, why is my finger held in it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. See, look, see above where your finger is. That's where we look. Someone's at your doorbell. That's probably my mum. Ring doorbell. Um, so yeah, we went, sorry, I just have to like clean my hands. We just met our pal. Had lunch. Had lunch. And now. I just said to Karen, <laughs> do you want to go to our burrito? <laughs> kind of on the way home it is on the, it's only 25 minutes and we're gonna get stuck it's in traffic if we don't home. do it well it is on the way home if we're going up and around up and around we're but gonna get stuck in traffic on a friday on the m60 anyway there's no point going now and look so we have we made some purchases um catherine you show on your um oh, my you cat. look <laughs> that isn't that gorgeous and i got what is that thing oh yeah yeah your other thing Sorry, so it looks like a big spear. Oh yeah, a vintage bottle. I want to turn it into a lamp. And, and the garden people will love this one. We I forgot about this, and I just saw it down on the floor. Oh, you could take if we if someone tries to hijack us. <laughs> oh, Hold on, I lock the door now. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> Keep off the grass, Aaron. <laughs> Like, you could, is, isn't it? That I actually, I better not put that in the front garden because that would be used as a weapon. A weapon, it gets through your windows. But like, look, keep off the grass. Oh no! <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're just um, actually. Do you know what? I'm, I'm going to show you this, this later, and then Catherine got windows, but we're going to go. windows. Fifty quid each. She got a bargain, but we totally recommend going down to the Euro oh, South thing in Kilkenny. Oh my god, it's just so good. The man said like he. That's not even his full stock. He has a warehouse. Like six warehouses full of stuff, so. And haggle. <sighs> no, don't haggle unrealistic. He did yeah. give us a few chilling off. Yeah, like a few pop off. He just rounded <laughs> down, which is great once we yeah. round up. So now I don't know how I'm going to reverse. She will see anyway. All the people beside us, great. And we're talking to our phone. Fantastic. Anyway, right, we'll show you what is happening in the Arboretum. Yeah, we're going to the garden center. I'm actually so happy to go to the garden center. The day is not over yet. <laughs> and look, it's like beautiful. Out. I was like, oh, are we going home? <laughs> Because I was looking no. at the time, I was like, right, it's four o'clock now. Yeah. Like, the that means is open until six. We're there, it's 20 minutes from yeah. so that's, just, that's an hour. We're stuck in traffic if we don't go to the Arboretum. We're regretting why we didn't go to Arboretum. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. This 
where I got my celery plants last year. That is very good at growing. We like curly kale, beetroot. Loads of so there's loads of veg plugs. Just if you didn't want to sow anything from seed. But sometimes if you if you don't have windowsill space or a greenhouse, it can be hard to get them going. Mm -hmm. That's what Especially she with said. the slugs. Look, lots of straws. Look at that as well. Very cute. Sorry, I'm not even filming. Cute. Now. If you want to grow tomatoes and don't want to grow from seed, we have bought many a plant from like like this size and they're brilliant. Yeah, it'll break your heart. Don't bother growing them, especially if you're going on holidays. All they do, they're very dramatic. They're either dead or they're <laughs> thriving. One minute they're lovely, the next minute they are I love growing tomatoes. I've grown loads over the years. Said, oh, it does. Bush. <laughs> Lobelia. Look like lots of trailing plants. <laughs> Oh yeah, I bought some last week. Yes, mm. Well, not not that big now. They're only about like kind of that size. Because that'd be kind of good for your greenhouse as well. Yeah. But look, tomato plants, one ninety five each, right? I've grown. What's the one? Gardener's Delight and Alicante one as well. Oh, I did Alicante last year. Yeah. It's very nice. So this is outside in the arboretum. Look. We will be playing Guess the Price in a second, but this is if Catherine was rich, this is what you. Oh, look at that. Do you want to play Guess the Price? Yeah. Okay. I will say like six fifty. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. There is no price on it. And I'm not asking. No. Because I can't afford it. Because <laughs> you'd be like, oh, thank you. For Aren't those umbrellas yeah, lovely? Like the little parasols with the bits. Oh, look at them. I love the way they're all plaited. I can see the little tufts. So I wonder would you have to like prune them to kind of keep it looking. Oh yeah, because they're grown out of it. Yeah. Maybe the shoots. I think they look good cool, growing out. And this is where you bought your bird, bird bath. Which I think I want to buy another one for fun. Yeah, we will look around anyway. But yes, this we just want to show you this is what the arboretum looks like. So many different it's like it's place. huge, 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 huge. Well worth the trip down. If you when are was the first time we came? You brought me anyway. You came with your mom at Christmas, was it Christmas? Oh yes, this is. We came after Christmas one year. Oh my God! Look at those acers. Now, see that bird bath water uh, feature. I, I have to go to the toilet now. Oh, do you want to play guess the price? Okay. Have you seen the price? No. Okay. What's your what's your guess? I will say four hundred and fifty. Six hundred and eighty-nine. Rich, I thought if you're rich, I don't think that's bad. No, it's not. I, oh, I see it down there. The price. See these barrels here? Hundred euro each. Now, are twenty oh, percent off. We got two for. Was it two for hundred or two for fifty-five? Two for fifty-five. Two for fifty-five. <laughs> <laughs> two for 55. <laughs> oh look now, obelisks. They're good. They're handy. Actually, I think this might be where we got ours for that. I have the rows going up. Oh yeah, you did. We're going to go wandering. Now, also, if you do come here, down this way is a little really garden. Walk, um. God, it's so hot here today. Yeah, we like looking at the trees and then we're going to go and find the um, water. No, very bad. We've now We've gone on guess the price. to guess the price. And so, so we don't get blocked off YouTube. She's going to hide his dignity. I think I he... thought you were going to say something. <laughs> <laughs> I have small hands, and the fact that my tiny hands can buy this. Okay, so guess the price. Guess the price. I would say. I'm bits. For the price. <laughs> Hold on, I just here look at him from the waist up. I would say he is. Oh, he's a lovely bottom. Four, four hundred and fifty euro. Oh, you have to blur that on. I, uh, you're gone from the waist up. I'm <laughs> he doesn't have a price. He's well aged. He's well Stone. aged. Don't you see now? I'd say he's five hundred euro. I'd say so. We're like the worst influence, so oh, Catherine's look, after getting she's after getting that's the top of your one and oh, the base. The and then I'm after getting this little small one because I just think it's adorable. I think as well having plants like growing around it. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, probably up on the patio. We'll see. But like yeah. they've lots of different kind of In your cottage garden area. In your cottage garden area. Because I've one on that right border already. Do you have a gap in the border where you've no plants you can be nice yeah. in? I just think it's so cute and it was only 55 euro. Oh, we love. We love. We love. Let's we were just saying it. that we're, yeah. like, we're living our best geriatric life yeah. because it's a Friday <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> we're in the garden centre. <laughs> we're living our best lives going, oh my God, look. Oh, it would be 
Yeah. Um, so yeah, find yourself a friend who has the same <laughs> passion, <laughs> passions and geriatric vibes <laughs> as you do. Again, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I've dropped Catherine off and we put in like an eight hour shift today when you think about it because when I filmed inside her house earlier, it was half ten I think. It is now seven o'clock. That was a good day's work but what I'm going to do is you can see like a little sneaky peek of what I bought there but I'm going to show you everything that I bought in next week's garden video just because we've stuff that's uh, coming to be delivered so the stuff is going to arrive at Catherine's and then she's coming over to my house during the week to film the chatty garden video and hopefully by then the other bits will have arrived and so I'll show you kind of everything all at once um well that was a great day that's just a bit of us like that's all, all the Catherine kept saying all day. I was like, that was like the best day. Like the weather was gorgeous. I got to show the girls the salvage yard um, for the first time. Got to go to the Arboretum, got some nice bits and like sit out in the sun for a little while with our friend Joanne. And yeah, it was just such a good day, but I'm gonna sign off for now. I have to like get all this out of the car now in a second when I'm home and just chill. I think I need a glass of wine. I deserve a glass of wine. But listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. A little bit of like, a bit of a mishmash of a video, but I can't wait to just like get back into the garden now. And I've like lots to do. So listen, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next week's video and happy gardening. If that's what you're doing today, I hope the weather's nice.